name's Tiny Tom Two Legs, and I live at Tiny Town with my fr my best friend Michael, Michael Two Legs, and we're brothers. But our life's been hell ever since this cat moved in, named Richard Chris, and he is a jerk. Ever since Richard Quist came into town, he's been stealing all of my macaroni. He's taking, he's taking all my damn IP addresses. I, I can't, I can't get my IP addresses back on my computer because he took the IP addresses from the telebox and sold them to the governor. He's, he's been taking my chips and he, he keeps, he takes and takes and takes. I, I, got, I got my cousin, Daddy, Daddy Two Legs. He's a, he's a real hungry boy. I can't feed him none of my leftover fish and chips because he ta Chris takes all my chip, my crisp and my chips. Old, old Richard Chris is a, he's a old, long leg bastard and I, I shan't have none of him. Blank. Blankets, blanket supplies are low. Morale is hey, low. Hey, I did it. Um, Danny. I tell you what, ever since um, ever since Richard came to town, it's um, it's been a lot di different. Here, uh, he takes all of our blankets and he he'll just lay on all of them so we can't get them. And uh, it's not very considerate because he, he's not even using them. He's just laying on them. Um, sometimes I'll come home and I'll be very cold. And I'll, I'll just wish I had a warm blanket. But Richard's got them all. And he's, he doesn't want to share them. <sighs> sometimes he drinks uh, too much water. And... He'll, he'll make uh, business on our stuff, and it makes us sad. If I could, if I could butter just half the bread that he butters, I'd be able to feed tiny legs. But this long leg bastard's taking all my IP addresses, and I can't, I can't work my box anymore. I can't. Richard Crisp is a mean old bastard. I, sh I shan't have to deal with him today. I made an. I already made one egg, but he took it. He took it from me. I made one for my brother, Mike, Michael Two Legs. And he snatched it up and ate it. I only got three eggs left. Richard Crisp, he's he's a bastard. That Richard. My my name is Yates Yates Men Barrel, and I've been living in the upstairs of this tiny tiny town for over seventeen. 17 years plus the 16 years I lived there before that, bringing it to a total of 30, 33 years or so. I, I was having a great life. I, I was farming radishes and I'd, I'd make them into yik sticks and I'd sell the yik sticks to all the small boys and, and girls up, up upstate. I'd sell them upstate and I used to make a killing, but now that uh, bastard Richard Crisp is stealing all my yip sticks and he's not letting me sell them. And besides, he takes my, my banjo. I used to strum on that and, you know, it keep keep me from thinking all the lonely times. But now that now that Crisp, he plays those riffs and I hear them and makes me twice twice as lonely as I've ever been. I don't I don't like that bastard and I think he I think we deserve to get him out of this tiny town. I'm I'm an old man and I don't have time for this. I survived two wars and a, you know, and a, three elections and I I still can't 
I still can't see why this cat's running around. I think we need to do something about it, but I just, I'm too old. I, I hate him. I wish he'd go to another town, one that's not so tiny. I wish he'd go to a big town. That Richard. Boy, there's that bastard now. You think he's? You think? You think if you think you know a man, but you you see him sitting there with a stolen old man's banjo, and he just, boy, it's, it's a damn crock of shame that this this man's moved into tiny town. I ca I cannot for the life of me get get this damn man out of my house. He's, he's stealing everything we own. He's taking us a house and home, and he's also taking our home. 